I could sometimes be a little bit of a dilettante. Um, I will, you know, get excited about some new hobby or, or outside activity and, and then don't necessarily always see it through. Some years back, I, I uh, tried to teach myself the harmonica, thinking that it would be fun to play, you know, like with morning devotion at mountaintop, things like that. And I've taught myself to play a couple songs, about two and a half songs. And uh, uh, every year or two, I'll think, well, you know, I need to work on the harmonica some more. And then uh, uh, then it sort of fades away. Well, I uh, took the harmonica to camp with me uh, a couple weeks ago and uh, ended up playing uh, the two song or one of the two songs that, uh, that, that, I'm, uh, uh, that I know by heart um, with my morning devotion. And... Um, um, it was, I was rusty, but I mean, nobody, everybody said they liked it, but, but that's, you know, I knew what was wrong with it. Uh, but I, I've decided maybe I'm going to, you know, maybe I'm going to try and work on that a little more. Um, so I was playing a little bit today. I'd like to get Red River Valley. You know, I've got the Amazing Grace, and I've got He's Ever Over Me, which is, a, a, used to be a mountaintop camp song. That was where I learned it, and I love that song. And I was so proud of that. When I first started working on the harmonica, I could not find any tab for that, and I worked out the tab myself, even though I know nothing about music, can't read music. I just figured out how to play that myself. And uh, uh, that was I was kind of proud of that. So those are the two songs that I know by heart. Red River Valley, I at one time was trying to learn, so I have sort of a vague recollection of that, but but uh, not really enough to play it. So I'm gonna. that's going to be my... my uh, my goal, my short-term goal, is to uh, to uh, try to teach myself Red River Valley, and then get a little bit sharper on the other two. Um, and uh, you know, I, I, it's just sort of a fun thing to have in your wheelhouse, you know, for for things like camp. You know, there's one day uh, actually camp. I, I said I played it with morning devotion, and I did, but there was also one day. Uh, when the teenagers were out, you know, they usually, you know, have some sort of little organized, semi-organized free time right after lunch. And there was one day when they were doing that, and I was just sort of sitting there on a bench under under uh, the tree near the dining hall and uh, playing my, my harmonica, just, you know, as background noise. And, uh, you know, it, it's nice to, to have a harmonica to do stuff like that with. You know, and I know a few little kind of the, the little blues riffs that you can kind of, put together in different combinations and it sort of sounds like a song even though it isn't really a song and can get repetitive very quickly if you don't uh, know what you're doing but uh, anyway I'm, I'm going to try and see if I can do a little more with the harmonica maybe in the next next month or two uh, uh, see if I can stick with it this time or, or if I really am just a dilettante